Shortly at Madison Square Garden comes days after his own former chief of staff went on record to describe his former boss as a fascist. But that jamboree happening right now, you see it there on your screen, in that place is particularly chilling because in 1939, more than 20,000 supporters of a different fascist leader, Adolf Hitler, hacked the garden for a so-called pro-America rally. A rally where speakers voiced anti-Semitic rhetoric from a stage draped with Nazi banners. When a Jewish protester rushed the stage, the Associated Press reported, quote, instantly, a dozen or more stormtroopers set upon him, knocking him down and beating him as he held his head in his arms. Most of his clothing was torn from his body. Later, he was booked for disorderly conduct. Of all the venues in all New York, he walks into this one. Nine days and counting before the election, Donald Trump chose the historic Madison Square Garden, where history can't hide the hosting of a Nazi rally in 1939. At that time, it was a gathering of American Nazi sympathizers. At this time, Trump's opponents are drawing a parallel between the past and present. Can you let me answer the question? Ahead of the rally, Trump supporters rallied round. Donald Trump is the furthest from a fascist imaginable. You know who's a fascist? Well, according to his close aides, Mr. Giuliani. And not according to the leftist, socialist, communist media. His former senior military advisor. His former his senior chief of military staff. advisor is well known to me. He was fired. That's because opponents are dumb and they're losers. So now they're trying to do anything to get a rise out of voters, man. Stop that. Be better. This was a set piece to bring scale and stature to the campaign club. It was a Trump-themed variety show, with 25 speakers on the bill. Some had a harder edge than others. I go, sure, out of character for me to speak at a Nazi rally. I was just in Israel, but I took the gig. MSNBC is facing intense criticism for its coverage of Donald Trump's rally at Madison Square Garden. The network controversially aired footage from a Nazi rally in the same venue back in 1939. The anchor noted that Trump's rally took place in that same place, calling it particularly chilling. This comparison sparked outrage online with critics accusing MSNBC of incitement. Conservative voices on social media defended the rally's diversity, with one user stating, Yesterday's Trump rally was filled with Americans from every walk of life. Among those attending was a Holocaust survivor, Jerry Warnsky, who had endorsed Trump just last week, calling him a mensch and rejecting Vice President Kamala Harris's recent claim that Trump is a fascist. Even Elon Musk, who spoke at the rally, lashed out at MSNBC, labeling them the scum of the earth. The backlash points to a larger sentiment that despite Democrats calling for positivity and unity, MSNBC's portrayal of Trump supporters as akin to Nazis is perceived as divisive. Republican commentator Colin Rugg echoed these sentiments, saying, you don't hate the media enough, while also mentioning Warsky's presence at the rally. In the end, this MSNBC segment has only viewed accusations of media bias, with Trump supporters arguing that the liberal media's portrayal crossed the line.